we got a call for a razor that's got a broken ball joint. It's in the maze trail. I think it's close to the end so we can go in the back way. We got Colin driving us today. We're in the heavy wrecker. We're heading across the dunes. The weather's super nice. It's about 48 degrees, mostly clear, and it's a good day to run. The way the customer described it, he's at the end of the maze, so we're gonna drop in right here and just take a shortcut. Right there. Ladies, the only one that seems to know where we're going. They think that's where we're headed. They think they found the lost, broken vehicle. If my calculations are correct, oh, I see it right there. We found it. Looks like we need to air up that tire. There's the broken ball joint right there. So we're gonna need to pick this thing up. I think we can pick it up right there. A lot of times these things are just kind of bolted on really flimsy they're just visual but this one's actually attached really well so we'll just go right here right here maybe we get that pretty easy do you want to jump in it and just park it right here we'll air up this tire and then we can just pull forward and just take it out that way get this thing aired up then we can pull it out of here how much are you want on this Let's do a little more. I don't know how fast it leaks. Okay, leave your front wheels about there. Now crab walk your back. Okay, that's good right there. Just stop it. Put it in park, set your parking brakes. This is my nuclear football. And so we're gonna just put the, the boom out. And then I'm going to disengage both of these. Disengage both of these this one right here so it doesn't slip off on this initial pull that's lifting it up yeah you're off the ground right now Yeah, there's nothing on it right now. Okay. That's a good start. The reason I got in it was so I could control how much we were dragging the brakes. Hey, that thing stayed up. That is some quality construction right there. So now you just want to secure this wheel? Yeah. Yeah, we want to do that. That's brake line. It's putting stress on that. We'll just lift it up. Be good. All right, I'm gonna have you drive this up. For the record, this is like my first time actually wheeling this truck. Okay, just start easing it up. I'm just gonna run this a little bit. We're gonna have to take our time here because we're down a couple crew members. I know a lot of you are used to passenger and driver and you think it's better, but I've never had consistent results from any command. Left or right passenger and driver. Hold on, stop.
okay rear steer to the right that's passenger yep hold it hold that trigger just roll forward you're doing great got this wheel hooked on this rock right here okay can you go to neutral let it come back okay we got that steered away from the rock let's go all right let's see if that works and neutral that should stop that okay Colin just nice and easy drive up to that next obstacle You're driving up there. Okay, now we gotta climb up this hill. This is our last major climb to get out of here. How's it going? Nice hat. <laughs> Thank Look you. at that, we got some support out here. Heck yeah, this made our whole weekend. Good job. That Holy was kind crap. of that was pretty extreme crawling. It was awesome. And you did it with cargo. Okay, so whose rig is this? Uh, he's down at the water. He's down at the water takes. Okay. We helped him break it. All right. So this, <laughs> these are the people that supported his poor decisions. <laughs> yep. Okay, we're gonna head down to the water tanks. Colin, I'm gonna put you in here just for brake control. You're not gonna yeah. need very much. All right. And we're just gonna drive out of here. Okay, we're gonna get this all picked up. So who made the call? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you broke it, were you? That looks like that's gonna work. That looks fantastic. So we've done a couple of jobs like that now, and I'm learning that the wrecker is far more well behaved in the rocks with a load than it is in the sand with a load. When we're going through the sand dunes and they just get a little bit off camber, not very much, that load, like the tail wags the dog, and the wrecker's a lot heavier than that side-by-side, -side, but that side-by-side -side can just grab the wrecker and pull it down into the bottom of one of those bowls. We're definitely learning new stuff all the time. This was a really fun job. Colin, you haven't really ran that, have you? Like, that's your first time really wheeling it. I have never wheeled it. Little itty bitty stuff, but that one was with a load too, so. Yeah, but it kind of doesn't care. It just does things. It really doesn't care. All right, I got exciting news. Check this out. This has been a long time coming. We're hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, if everything goes as planned, which it never does, we're hoping that this building will be up and we'll be in it by the beginning of the year. That is the goal. 
These guys have been out here pouring all morning. They knocked it out pretty quick. It's 11 and they got here at eight, so they gotta smooth some more stuff out and then they'll be on their way. That is beautiful. So we got a call for a Jeep that has some brackets ripped off the back axle. So we're gonna head out here, see if we can get them welded back up, and get them on our way. We got Red here driving today. This is the first time I've really driven this. We're giving him a little seat time. We got Peanut right here. We got Hefe and the Bronco behind us. All right, Ed, how's the weather? Oh, it's windy today and a little cool, but no clouds. Matt will find them and we'll get them out. And then behind him, Jamie is in the rental Jeep. We have some family in town. We promised we were gonna take him out for a little wheeling today, so they get to come along on a rescue. Give us your first driving impressions. It handles really good. I've heard that hydro steer is kind of a pain at high speeds, but it's actually really good. Like, I think it's better than the banana, I'm not gonna lie. Really? I liked it on the road. The banana sometimes scares me. a good pin they also said they're in a black tj with a roof rack and there's a couple other tjs and a couple of toyotas they said there's a few people camped around them so hopefully we find them fast i can't imagine it being too bad they should be straight ahead of us all right we're gonna let peanut out right here so she can do some running We send her ahead to find the customer and show us the way. And go look at it. It's right there. Oh, up on top, upper arm. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's the track bar. Oh yeah, so this thing's gonna be feeling squirrely. Okay. We'll just pick it up and weld it. See if you can get it for a, that way the front, the front will keep it from rolling away. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the back of this up, get the pressure off from the suspension. That way we can hopefully put it where we want it and then just be able to weld it back together. Weird stress on this. Let's take that off. And broken. Later. Yeah, this has been broke breaking for a while. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is weld it on as good as possible. I recommend getting it into a shop and getting something beefier done here. This the lift, they bolt this on here to level this track bar out, and it puts an enormous amount of leverage on this whole thing. It'll be drivable, it'll be safe to drive. Okay. This is 6011 right here, that's what I want. Okay. On it. Um, I'm gonna start with both of these. Now, if I need some filler, which I know I'm gonna need, you can just bend this, hit it like that. Take this other wheel off so we can get to the other side. So, 
this is my nephew and I promised him to take him wheeling today and we kind of just came out and stood in the cold wind so on the way home we'll take a fun trail oh yeah so the trick here is gonna be welding this on without welding a hole through this brake line so that's what we're gonna try to do plus we got some gaps to fill I'm making it uglier, but it's big, it's plenty strong. Yep. Guaranteed to get you home. Can we rescue you out on the trail of Toyotas or stop like See that? Slick little setup. What is that? Yeah. Okay. Super cute in that. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sweet, man. All right, we got that welded up and we got them on their way. It wasn't pretty, but it is strong, which is kind of how I do. Where are we headed, Rhett? I actually have no idea. Like, I know the road, but like, I don't know what way exactly. Okay, so I promised my nieces and nephews I was gonna take them out to do some wheeling. So we're gonna take the long way home. Thanks for watching. So Bridger gave me this jet ski rock and I put it in my pocket and now it's in two pieces. But what's cool about that is it's like legos so if i want to look at it i can put it together 